this is Paul, and in this video we'll be talking about the IXG Series IP multi-tenant intercom system. The IXG Series supports up to 9,999 physical devices, as well as 9,999 cloud-based apps. The IXG Series components consist of the IXG-DM7-HID entry panel, the IXG-CC7 tenant station, the IXGWGW gateway adapter used for our cloud-based apps. Not shown is the IXGW-LC lift control relay. This is primarily used for elevator control. The IXG series works with the IX series components such as the IXMV7 and IXDV. The entry panel has some unique features. It's got a built-in HID reader that supports Prox, Indala, iClass, and Bluetooth. It also has a 26-bit Wigan output. The motion detector brings the screen to life. The camera is a 720p camera, which keeps the bandwidth low, but offers a great image on the tenant station as well as the app. The entry panel also has a couple dry contacts on the back of it that are rated at 3 amps for door release or gate release. The tenant station, the IXG2C7, has a 7-inch touchscreen as well, and a couple outputs on the back of it that can be used with the GTRY relay to provide contacts to trip an external strobe or sounder when it receives a call. Both the entry panel and the tenant station also have a micro SD card slot for storing imagery. So if somebody calls in, you can see who's, who's come to your door, who's, who's called you. The gateway adapter supports up to eight different app call groups at the same time meaning you can have eight different doors calling eight different apartments at the same time, and all those apps will still receive the call. Let's go over operation of the system. I can touch the entry panel. Here I have list view shown. I can have up to 100 different stations in list view. In this case, I hit the call button. It rings the station. Video will pop up. I can see who's there. Decide to answer it. I will mute the microphone so we don't get any feedback. Hit the door release button. I can terminate the call. Now when I go to the entrance panel, there's a keypad up here. So if I'm in keypad mode, and any of these screens can be changed to whatever default you want it to be. So once I dial the station number, it again calls the station. I can go to answer it release the door if I want to or not. If I go to the search screen, I can dial in and it'll bring up a list. So I can call, say the IXMV7, see who's there, answer it. There is a, there's a key here. So if I hit the key, I can punch in a code Door open. And it'll release the door. You can have as many codes as you have actual tenants. Lastly, there's a screen here, uh, a globe that you can press. And by touching the globe, you can choose whatever language you want. At that point, the instructions will appear in, in this case, French. If I go through it, it's all in French as it, as it were. The... Uh, Language will change back to the default language after the screen is timed out. The IXG-2C7 also has some unique features. You can call. You can either call mobile apps. I can call other stations in my residence. The IXG-2C7, if I have a big condominium or a big residence, I can have up to eight physical IXG-2C7 tenant stations in one tenant and they can call each other amongst themselves by hitting the buttons. The other option I have is the guard call button. In this case, we've had a program to call the IXG2C7, or had to call the IXMV7. I can answer it, see who's calling, talk to them. They can see the, uh, the video. There is there's the monitor where I can monitor the entry panel. Now, as I'm monitoring the entry panel, if someone were to come up and use the entry panel, 
the call is going to override my ability to monitor. This can also be turned off in, during programming. There is history where I can view who's come up to my door, who's called me. Uh, if I had the micro SD card installed, I could then view the, the video associated with those calls. There's the settings where I can change the language, ringtone, brightness, date and time, the volume, or I can register the app. So let's do that now. The, I've already downloaded the app to my phone and installed it. So if you have an Android device or an Apple device, go to the respective stores and download the uh, iXG mobile app. I'll hit next. It'll say it's looking for a QR code. Yeah, it'll say, hey, do you want to register to this station? I do. I'll hit connect. It'll say confirmation. I'll hit OK. I'll agree to the privacy terms. I'll hit send. It says I'm now registered. This is what my app will look like. So I have the ability to monitor the entry panel just like the 2C7 does. I have a recording list to see who's uh, the recalls I've recorded, a history of what's happened. So now if I go up to the 2C7 and hit the call, hit the mobile app, my mobile app will then receive a call from the 2C7. I can then answer it. Talk to the two talk to the two C seven from my app. Communicate back and forth. Terminate the call. So now, if I'm at the entry panel and I hit two C seven, it's going to ring the two C seven tenant station as well as the mobile app. Now, whichever one answers first is the one that's going to receive the call. So if I go to answer it, it'll pop up on the screen. I can then hit the slider to release the door. I can also turn it on its side to view the more of the screen. So that's how simple it is to register an app and how the system works. If you have any questions, please visit www.aphone.com. Thanks for watching.